Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. To learn how a gift in your will can leave a legacy of eternal hope and a lasting impact for generations to come, call 1-800-257-296 or visit catholicmission.org.au slash wills. Of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome to our Mass this morning. It's wonderful to have you here wherever you are, and this Mass will be offered for your, your needs. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us into everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. A reading from the prophet Habakkuk. How long, Lord, am I to cry for help while you will not listen? To cry oppression in your ear and you will not save. Why do you set injustice before me? Why do you look on when there is tyranny? Outrage and violence, this is all I see. All is contention and discord flourishes. Then the Lord answered and said, Write the vision down, inscribe it on tablets to be easily read, since this vision is for its own time only. Eager for its own fulfillment, it does not deceive. If it comes slowly, wait, for come it will without fail. See how he flags, he whose soul is not at rights. But the upright man will live by his faithfulness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come ring out a joy to the Lord. Hail the rock who saves us. Let us hear. 
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. I am reminding you to fan into a flame the gift that God gave you when I laid my hands on you. God's gift was not a spirit of timidity, but the spirit of power and love and self-control. So you are never to be ashamed of witnessing to the Lord or ashamed of me for being his prisoner. But with me, bear the hardships for the sake of the good news, relying on the power of God. Keep as your pattern the sound teaching you have heard from me in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. You have been trusted to look after something precious. Guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The word of the Lord stands forever. It is the word given to you, the good news. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The Apostle said to the Lord, Increase our faith. The Lord replied, Were your faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Which of you, with a servant ploughing or minding sheep, would say to him when he returned from the fields, come and have your meal immediately. Would he not be more likely to say, get my supper laid, make yourself tidy and wait on me while I eat and drink. You can eat and drink yourself afterwards. Must he be grateful to the servant for doing what he was told? So with you. When you have done all you have been told to do, Say, we are merely servants, and we have done no more than our duty. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our readings today remind us of the beautiful gift that God gives each of us. It's the gift of faith. And in the words of St. Paul, it's something precious. And we're called to guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives within us. So the faith that we have, we carry with us. I remember in a couple of years ago, I was called to the hospital to, to visit a sick child. The little boy had been knocked over by a car. He looked very sad and very sorry in that bed, so tiny. He wasn't breathing heavily. He looked very, very weak. The family were gathered around this little boy. And I said to the family, um, you call for me to, to, visit, to visit you. And the grandmother said to me, um, yes, when I was a little child, I was baptised a Catholic, but I had never practised my faith. Um, she said to me, but my mum said to me very often, if anyone's sick, call for a priest. That was all, all she knew. And of course, the parents and the, the rest of the family, the little child knew very little about their faith. But in that small faith, that little faith that she had, she was able to call on Jesus Christ. I went there as a priest of the church, taking the sacraments with me. I anointed the little boy and we prayed with him, with him and with the family. And in that prayer, I really felt that God's spirit was there, blessing all of us and certainly blessing me. So in that faith that the grandmother had, we remember the call of St. Paul to look at our faith as something precious, that's given to us, given by the Holy Spirit. And that Holy Spirit lives within each of us. If you feel, as I do at times, your faith isn't strong enough, be comforted. The small faith that we have, Jesus will call into life. Jesus will bless. Jesus will in increase that faith. You and I are called to live by faith. Faith means not seeing always. Faith means opening our hearts to God's Holy Spirit. Faith means 
coming to terms with our call to d d discipleship. In that call, we follow the Lord. We open our hearts to his love. And in the words of St. Paul, we guard the precious gift that is our faith. I'm just going to read it from St. Paul now. You have been trusted to look after something precious. Guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives within each of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now we profess the faith that we all hold dear to our hearts. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us turn to the Lord for help, for our God is the rock who saves us. That the church will grow in faith and be known for its mighty deeds. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who carry the flame of the Holy Spirit through teaching and preaching will be given insight and wisdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who feel abandoned by God or God's people will be touched and transformed by Christ's healing presence. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are sick and absent from this Eucharistic feast will find strength and support. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Faithful God, you hear the prayers of those whose faith is but the size of a mustard seed. Help us to recognise that we are called to be your servants and strengthen our desire to serve you unconditionally. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Accept our Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray the second Eucharistic prayer. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord. Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvellous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death. 
summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Jean Vianney, with Saint Mary of the Cross, MacKillop, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say the prayer that unites 
all Christian people. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away of the world, grant us peace, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Jesus, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. That my God would welcome me into this mystery. Say, take this prayer, take this wine, now the simple may divide for any to receive. By your mercy, we come to your table. By your grace, you faithful Lord we place 
Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, you give, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your Spirit the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may you walk with the Lord all this week, knowing that he calls you in love. He calls forth your faith in him. Today's Mass is proudly sponsored by Calvary Healthcare, Guardian Funerals and Evangelize, an online conference for Catholics. Hi, I'm Bishop Brian Mascord. Thank you for your generous support of Mass for You at Home. If you are in a position to contribute or contribute again, you can help secure the ongoing future of this vital ministry.